subject EBS 1 standard 4 hello students i am elspeth cb and today we are going to learn the topic lesson number 4 water safe for drinking before starting with the topic i would like to ask few questions What is water? Answer. Water is transparent, tasteless, colorless that is used for drinking, washing, etc. From where do we get water? Answer. Our drinking water comes from rivers, lakes and well. Which water is good for health? Answer. Boiled water is always good for health. In this lesson, we are going to learn substance that can dissolve and cannot dissolve. Things sinks or flows on water. Students, which glass of water you can drink? The clean water or the muddy water? Yes, you can drink the clean water. You cannot drink dirty water. Students, here I have five glass of water and I have five substance. Oil, coffee powder, salt, sugar, turmeric powder. Let's see which substance does not dissolve and which substance Dissolves. Here I have one glass of water and one bowl of oil. Now let's see. We are going to mix the oil, two spoon of oil in a glass. Mix it. So children what are you going to observe it? The oil does not dissolve. It's float on the water. Here, again I have one glass of water and salt. Let's take one tablespoon salt. Mix in it. So children, what are you going to observe? That the salt settles down. It dissolves completely in the water. So here I have in a bowl sugar. Let's take one tablespoon of sugar. If you want you can add more. You got to mix the sugar in the water. What have you observed? That the sugar settles down. It gets completely dissolved. And the water is, how the water is going to taste? Sweet. Try some more substance. So students, you are going to try this experiment at home. You are going to take one glass of water and in a bowl, turmeric powder. And see, what do you observe? Try at home. Does they dissolve in water? So children, please do the experiment at home and watch what happens. Does they dissolve or they do not dissolve? Okay, now we are going to learn what is the meaning of solvent and what is the meaning of solute. Let's start. Solution. Here you can see a glass of water. What is the water? The sugar water. 
what is the meaning of solvent the water and what is the solute here the sugar salt plus water is equal to salty water salt is solute water is solvent so that is equal to solution a new term solution when a substance dissolves in water a mixture of that substance and water is formed this mixture is called the solution of that substance this r useful solution o r s oral rehydration salt if someone gets loose motion we give them a solution of salt and sugar to drink this solution is called o r s oral rehydration salt a patient in a hospital is sometimes put on saline that is a solution of salt and water sometimes other medicine may also be given through saline oral rehydration therapy is a type of fluid replacement used to prevent and treat rehydration especially due to diarrhea it involves drinking water with with sugar and salt sea water is salty to taste because it's nothing but a solution of salt that occurs naturally we cannot use sea water for drinking water of different wells may have different taste why it is that so some substance from the ground dissolve in the water they give a taste to the well water but if there is nothing dissolved in the water water has no taste what happens when we open the soda water bottle when we remove the lid of a soda water bottle bubbles fizz out of it to make soda water a gas called carbon dioxide it dissolved in water under pressure when the lid is removed the pressure reduces and the gas bubbles comes out a gas called carbon dioxide it dissolve in water under pressure let's learn the next concept things sink or float in water students try this experiment at home it's very easy the things you need is a bowl of water pencil plastic scale stone screw steel spoon leaves soil eraser nail plastic spoon sharpener coin and see what do you observe sink by doing the experiment you will observe that eraser steel spoon screw coin sharpener nail stone soil will sink in the water plastic scale pencil plastic spoon leaves will float in the water how to make 
muddy water clean. Step 1. Let the muddy water settle down for few hours. After settling the muddy water, we settle like this. See the image carefully. The process of allowing heavier particles to settle to the bottom of still water is called settling. A new term. Potable water, water safe for drinking, water that does not endanger our health in any way when we drink it is called safe wa drinking water or potable water. Use microscope. To see the microorganism. If we take a bit of yogurt, means curd, or a drop of buttermilk on a glass slide and place the slide under a microscope, we see very tiny living things in it. They are called microorganism. This microorganisms convert milk into yogurt. They are useful for us. But all microorganisms are not useful. Some microorganisms cause diseases when they enter our body. They are said to be harmful microorganisms. There are numerous kinds of microorganisms around us. They are in water, soil, air, rocks, that is anywhere and everywhere. Even if Harmful microorganisms are present in water. We are not able to see them. What is microorganism? Micro, very small, tiny. Organism, a living thing that cannot be seen by the naked eyes or even with the magnifying glass. Boiling the water kills microorganisms in it and prevents diseases. Activity time. Do the activity at home. Making bubbles. Try producing bubbles of glass in a liquid for yourself. You will need a tablespoon, baking powder, a glass, water. Let's see how to do the experiment. Put half a tablespoon of baking powder into a glass and add water. Stir the mixture. Describe what happens as the baking powder dissolves. To show that there is air dissolved in water, fill a glass with tap water and leave it 
for several hours. What has happened inside the glass? Remember. Even in clean, transparent water, microorganism can be present. It is necessary to have safe water for drinking. So water must be boiled to destroy any organ microorganism. What we have learnt. Some substances dissolve in water. Some substances do not. Something float on water. Some sink and settle at the bottom. In order to obtain clean water, muddy water is allowed to settle. After settling, the water is cleaned further by swirling alum in it or by filtration. Even in clean, transparent water, microorganism can be present. It is necessary to have safe water for drinking. So water must be boiled to destroy any microorganism in it. Thank you.